In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bridge and stake Polygon Matic tokens with the Polygon Wallet. And for more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Polygon, formerly known as Matic Network, is a protocol for building and connecting Ethereum compatible blockchain networks. And Polygon's cheaper transaction costs and faster block times have driven increased adoption by a number of popular dApps such as the likes of Aave, Zero X, or SushiSwap. And similar to the Ethereum network requiring ETH to pay for the gas fees, Polygon requires Matic, which can be held in a wallet, used for gas fees, or staked. If you've bought your Matic tokens over on the Ethereum network and you want to interact with the Polygon network, you may need to bridge these across. So let's jump in. And if you don't already have any Matic tokens, you can trade for these on centralized exchanges, such as the likes of Binance or FTX, and they have some of the lowest trading fees and some of the widest range of coins. If you don't already have an account with either of these, I've got some sign up links below that will get you some discounts from your trading fees. Alternatively, you can use decentralized exchanges such as the likes of Uniswap to perform the swap. Now my tokens are currently over on FTX, so I'm going to withdraw those now and send them across to my Metamask wallet. The reason I'm sending these across to Metamask is so that I can interact with the Polygon wallet to bridge and state my tokens, as the Polygon wallet is decentralized. So let's head across to the Polygon wallet, which is available at wallet.matic.network. And from here, we're prompted to connect up a wallet, and it gives us the option of Metamask, Wallet Connect or Wallet Link. If we connect up Metamask, and you'll need to make sure that you're on the Ethereum mainnet now inside of Metamask, as that's where our Matic tokens currently are. If you're using the wallet to bridge from Ethereum across to Matic, you're going to need to set up Polygon within Metamask. And I have a separate tutorial and blog post available at everybithelps.co.uk if you do need information on how to set that up. So now that I've connected to the Polygon Wallet V2, you'll see that my wallet is automatically connected in the top right hand side of the screen. And from the Apps tab at the top of the screen, you have the option of either the Polygon Bridge or to stake. And first up, we'll take a look at the bridge. So this is where you can swap your tokens from ERC20 tokens across to the Polygon network or vice versa. In this example, I'm going to be swapping Ethereum across to Matic. So it's asking me which Ethereum token that I'd like to bridge. And that's going to be the Matic token that I just transferred across from FTX. And I can now choose to transfer. I'm shown an important message at this point, stating that moving my funds from Ethereum across to Polygon takes around 7-8 to eight minutes. Plus delegation to validators for staking isn't included. And we're going to take a look at staking in a moment. So I'll click on to continue where it will then show me a transfer overview. And this includes all the estimated fees here for approving the deposit and then completing it. I'll press on to continue, where I'm then asked to confirm my transaction and I'll need to approve that in my Metamask wallet. So I'll confirm. And you can see that my Matic tokens are now in progress. Once that's completed, you can see that's cost me a total of $12.02 .02 to bridge. And my Matic tokens are now appearing in my Polygon wallet under my list of tokens, along with the token balance. Plus, they're also showing in my Metamask wallet under the Polygon network. So now that you have your Matic tokens available within your Metamask wallet, you could use dApps within the Polygon network with cheaper and faster transactions. And just be aware that when you are reversing this and bridging from Matic across to the Ethereum network, this can take up to seven days to complete. However, let's take a look at staking now so that we can start to earn some passive income on our tokens. And you'll need your Matic tokens to be on the Ethereum network to be able to stake them within the Polygon wallet. So if we connect up my Ethereum wallet holding my Matic tokens now, and under the Apps tab, we'll select Staking, where we can stake Matic tokens and earn rewards. And there's two different ways that you can stake, either as a validator or as a delegator. Becoming a validator involves setting up a node, but by delegating, it really simplifies the process. 
and you can use a reward calculator on their site just to get an idea of your projected rewards. And this will change depending on the number of tokens that you delegate and the number of days that you stake for. Now, as you can see here, that's roughly around 14% APR at the moment. There's a total of 100 validators that you can currently choose from. And we can see the total stake here in Matic and the total rewards that have currently been distributed. And underneath all of that, you can then view all the different validators, which you can sort by their performance, the commission that they take, their stake or random. Now, if we look at this by stake, as you can see, the Binance node has the largest stake. However, they do take a 10% commission. So let's take a look at staking now. And from here, you can view the information in relation to this validator, such as the likes of their website. You can view the total stake, the amount that they've staked themselves and the withdrawn records. And they've got a total of 842 delegators at the moment. So it is worth doing your own research here in relation to which validator that you want to choose from. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and delegate with this validator, where I'm then prompted to enter the amount of Matic tokens that I'd like to stake, and it shows me my estimated fee in here too. So just be aware that this will cost in ETH, and when the gas fees are high, this will definitely affect your profits. And once you've entered the amount or clicked on to max, you can continue. Then you'll need to confirm the approval transaction within your wallet and pay a gas fee for delegating. Once the transaction is completed, just be aware that it may take a few minutes to reflect and it will then appear under My Account. Within My Account, you can unbond or state more, both of which you're going to need to pay more gas fees for. Now, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, with staking being on Ethereum, you really are governed by the gas fees in terms of how much profit you'll be making from here. With a return of 14%, if you take into account the fees, it may not work out to be profitable for you. So if you're not too worried about whether your staking is centralised or decentralised, you can find staking options over on the likes of Binance, where you can currently get around 11% in a fixed savings account or 2% on a flexible term. And as I said, I'll put my link in the summary below for Binance. But that completes how you can bridge and stake your Matic tokens. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.